Welcome back. One of the funnest questions to answer and when I'm working with buyers and sellers, again, mostly buyers, is how many homes should I look at before I make an offer? And I'm always fascinated with the different numbers that I hear or that I have consumers or buyers say, hey, I want to see this many homes. My favorite is when somebody says, I want to see 50 homes. Uh, I'm going to give you opinion, right? This is according to Scott. When we see more than somewhere between seven and 10, they all blend together. We start to forget, well, did that house have stairs or did that house have, have dark colored cabinets or were they white painted cabinets? Because we've seen so many homes that we don't even, we get confused. And then we are stuck in a state of paralysis because we're in overwhelm. We have so much information overwhelmed from seeing so many homes that we don't know which one to pick. So here's my advice. My advice is to look at 20 to 50 homes on the internet and flag the 10 that you absolutely love. If you're looking online and you're, and you're working with your agent to help you narrow down and to find the ones that really fit your needs, really have the characteristics of a home that you're looking for, narrow it down to say, hey, we love these homes on the internet. That doesn't mean you're gonna love it when you see it. Maybe it's only five, maybe it's up to 10. I would say no more than 10. Five to seven is ideal. If you can narrow it down and say, I love these homes, these are the homes I wanna walk through, and then eliminate them one by one as you go through them if they're not going to work. Now we've narrowed it down and we can come back to, these are the homes that I love, this is the home that I wanna make an offer on, this is the direction I wanna go, so that there's not confusion and ambiguity in it for you later when you're trying to figure out, okay, I've got these seven homes and I loved them all, but I don't remember any of them. Let's narrow it down and find the one that you really do love and that really fits your circumstances and your needs the best, and then move forward with that one. Again, it boils back to strategy. You have to have the right strategy. If you're just out seeing homes, it becomes very confusing. So when I have a buyer say, how many homes should I see? I say, let's narrow it down to five of the ones that you love online. Let's see those five. If one of those doesn't work, then we'll go back to the drawing board. But ultimately, we should be able to find something if you love it online within those five that you're going to want to live in. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great day.